G'day. The idea of place value and hence exploding dots has been around for centuries, if not millennia. But of course, people did not think about it in terms of exploding dots in 10 1 machines and 2 1 machines and so forth. But the ideas have been around. And what I'd like to share with you today is one particular idea from John Napier. He's a Scottish mathematician born in 1550, died in 1617, best known for his invention of logarithms, but he actually invented all sorts of fabulous ways to do arithmetic, calculations of all sorts. And one of my favorite ways of the things he invented was the checkerboard abacus, how to do arithmetic basically on a checkerboard. Now, here's an 8x8 eight, eight eight board, but you can do on any size board and do really large computations as follows. In fact, let me do addition first. Let's start with addition. So here's what he imagined. He imagined having a 2-1 machine. Of course, he didn't call it a 2-1 machine, but the bottom rows are just a 2-1 machine. So whenever there are two dots in the box, they explode, kaboom, become one dot, one place to the left. To explode, kapow, one dot, one place to the left. And of course, we recognize that as dots being worth the different powers of two. Two fours make an eight. Two eights make a 16, and so on. So the bottom row is a 2-1 machine. He said, start with a 2-1 machine. Fabulous. And he said, do you know what? stack a whole lot of 2-1 machines on top of each other. So this two-dimensional array is actually rows and rows of their own 2-1 machines. So this is a 2-1 machine, that's a 2-1 machine, that's its own 2-1 machine, great. This, he said, is a great platform for doing addition. So let me show you. Let's do something like 106 plus 51 plus 42. All right, 106 plus 51 plus 42. So Napier suggested, first of all, represent each number in a row of these various 2-1 machines. So I'll do 106 on the bottom row, which I believe is going to be, what, um, 64 and a 32 gets me to 96, so I need 10 more. 106. All right, there's the number 106 on the bottom row. And I said 51. Okay, 51. That's going to be, what, uh, 32 and 16 gets me to 48, 50. One. Okay, 106 and 51. And then I said 42, I think I said. Uh, 32. Uh, and 10 more, 8 and 2. Bingo. All right, there are the three numbers I wish to add. Now, of course, in our work, we just put those three numbers in the same one machine and then just do an explosion and off we go. Well, actually, Napier suggested the same thing, not that language. He said, put those dots in the same one machine. He suggested, take all the dots and slide them down into the bottom row, to the bottom row machine. That is, we literally just added the numbers together. And then just do the explosions you need to do to see the answer. For example, two dots from here explode, kaboom, become one dot, one place to the other. Kaboom, dot, kazing, dot, oh, double explosion. Kazoop, dot, kabooble, dot, and one more explosion, kajibble, dot. Bingo, and that must be the answer to 106 plus 51 plus 42. Oh, what is that? Um, uh, that's six and 64, that's 70, 71, uh, 128, that's 199. The answer to 106 plus 51 plus 42 must be 199. Brilliant.